EIDL grant. The remainder of $10,000 EIDL grant from 2020 is being paid out now from SBA. Meantime, under the $1,400 third stimulus check bill, there is an EIDL grant in there as well. It is paid $5,000 exactly for people who had less than a 50% de- had more than a 50% decrease of their business because of the pandemic and have less than 10 employees. How do you get any EIDL grant? What are the questions? What are the answers? In this overnight throwback video, I explain the EIDL grant and how you get to the finish line. Enjoy this throwback video on EIDL grant. Are EIDL grant advances being paid after a loan or not being paid at all? That's the shocking news for Saturday. This is May 16th, and thanks for tuning in to LA Late. As always, like and subscribe to this channel and drop your comments below, and we may feature them in Sunday's recording. We're responding to a whole lot of comments, 50 of them from yesterday. But first, here's the shocking news. LA has learned in recent days, and you've asked the question, and we found the answer for you that if you've not received your EIDL grant, will you ever be receiving it? Here's the shocking current status. First, SBA seems to be changing its protocol on how to process grants and application loans on a daily basis. So even the reporting that we've delivered you on Monday is changing by the day. That's the way you really have to stay with us daily. But here's the current situation. According to many sources, current SBA guidelines are to pay the EIDL grant after an EIDL loan offer is given and approved, but... If you received an EIDL loan offer and they decline your offer, they're not giving you a grant. That's a surprising new development. Many of you have been wondering, where's your grant money? And when you get an EIDL loan offer and you go to accept and click it, if you receive a denial, you may not even be receiving the grant. What do you think about that? Horrible. Let's get to your comments and questions right away. So these are comments from Friday's taping. Uh, Joseph, talk to my tier two representative to find out where my grant stands, applied on 401. They asked for a number of questions, but strange one was, what country am I in? Why is that question? Been in 46 and nothing. Standard answers, I'm in process. Uh Uh-huh, mom and pop operations are rough. Um, What countries you've been to is one thing. What country you're in now uh, is a totally fine question, but what countries you've been to is totally unacceptable. That's one of 50 surprising questions, and we're answering all of them right now. Patty Russell, one more time. I applied for agricultural EID on May 4th. Talked to a loan officer yesterday, and last night I was approved for $30,000. Thank you for all your help. Well, congratulations, and keep us up to date what happens with your business, and we'll follow our other channels, our other videos on this channel. Norm T, follow up in your comment in the previous video. We received a loan, and I've yet to receive a grant. Called SBA, as you suggested, two days ago, and check on the grant. Didn't say, tell much. Seen our application, check our bank account for the grant. Just read these email this morning about our grant application. We received multiple applications from your business. Uh, your earlier application will continue to be processed and we've withdraw- withdrawn application from active consideration. Are they implying that because we got a loan that we won't be getting the grant or because they thought the 330 application is a duplicate of an early longer form application? I think it's the second one. I think it's a longer form application. I would call SBA. I mean, this is just this is just a lot of hot mess. First of all, our guidance has been that you should get a grant after the loan, but it's really still not clear. Three days into this reporting, why grants are being, after, being given after the loan? Is it because we are telling you on this channel to call SBA and they're giving you the grant, or just because that's the protocol? It's still not clear, but this thing that another application has withdrawn, I just don't know what that means. Uh, thank you for the great info. Well, I appreciate it. Corina, as a follow-up to my question regarding the EIDL grant, I have no way of looking up my application when I filed, when I applied. A uh, person went through all the questions she submitted, then gave me the number. I was told the number was given as valid, but my grant is still in process. Well, good to know. Stay with it, Karina. Wes Hughes, I've called every day for the last week. Wow, Wes. Applied April 2nd, still processing credit poll 20 24th. This, it's fake. It's nothing's being done. That's horrible, Wes. I mean, I would just try something different when you call in. I mean, 
if no one has gotten to anything, but I think Wes, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see this portal invite. If you saw the credit portal on the 24th, I think you're just gonna see the portal invite for the loan, and you're not gonna see the grant first. Hard, sorry to say that. Linda, so I spoke to SBA Escalation, first time calling on April, March 29th, and again, April, Third, per SVA rep's advice, uh, they were told me to state. Also, credit score pulled April 27th. I've been watching your videos. I don't recall anything about this or whether you know this. I also said I'd like to request a full 10,000 grant. I was told it's based upon the number of employees I have. Thank you for your help. I love all your videos. Yes. Uh, no one is getting $10,000 just because they won it. That was our very, very first video 14 days ago or something when we launched this channel. Uh, that has been tossed out the window. You're you're getting a thousand dollars based upon the number of employees you listed on that on that uh, streamlined application. CB got an email from SBA saying they received multiple applications for my loan, and then they withdrew the last one to go with the earlier one. I only applied once. Okay, this is the second time we've heard this in two seconds now. You're the second viewer that's had the same problem. What's going on, SBA? Mad Farmer, Mad Farmer Dave. Hey, you, you can't be behind on child support. Second question on the application when you had to check all the boxes. says no more than 60 days behind on child support. You don't get more than one-third of your income for legal gambling. You're not a lobbyist. Yes, absolutely. There's certain things you do not, you absolutely will not qualify for a loan or grant. Sammy Haddad, Hamed. Um, spoke with a woman from SBA, tier two representative. She said I qualified for $36,000, but didn't tell me if I was approved yet. I really feel bad for those who aren't getting denied because of credit scores. We're not worried about enough of our businesses. It really is awful, but just because you someone told you on the phone you're getting $36,000, you have to see that portal invite. You have to click it and have to have it accepted. I mean, um, I'm going to stay with you, but and I want to hear what happens to you. Keep us updated. Amy, I applied for the loan and grant on April 11th. Still getting the same on runaround. My boyfriend applied, knocking his mad money. SBA is leaving people hanging. It is. Leo Adoredano, uh answered your question on the grant story today. Also, what... What if you didn't get the full confirmation number at the end of the application? I only got seven digits out of the ten. Oh, good question. I mean, so once, so far, no one on this channel has really said a whole, keeping track of the confirmation number has helped them. <laughs> it has been when they applied and what state they are. Some people have even said they can look it up by your name, by the business name. So I wouldn't worry about that, Leo. Dennis, I applied three twenty nine, no credit score for the third time. I was told crank would become no treasury time frame. What the what the f? Um, horrible, Dennis. I think what you're going to happen is you're getting a loan offer, no grant. Ralph, I just got off the phone with two or two rep. They asked for my about my EDL grant that was processing. Oh, good. Then I've already gotten the one thousand dollars for myself. Uh, they told me that all, EIDL has always been up to ten thousand dollars. I only get a thousand dollars. Can I call the president? Uh, why can't we get the money we deserve? Absolutely, Ralph. I mean, the CARES Act called for $10,000 per business. It did not call for $1,000 per employee per business. Nick Lovely, great name. Uh, I signed my loan authorization yesterday for $37,000. Now I'm waiting to get on funding. I'm ready that they're supposed to do a deposit within five business days. Uh, some readers have gotten the funding within one business day. If it's taking more than one, I call them up. Um, if, you, if you've accepted and you got back, it's been accepted on their side, you're good. If you've not heard back that it's been accepted, you need to follow up. That doesn't mean it's an acceptance. Ricardo, Elliot, you're doing a great job helping people. Thank you. Thank you, for Ricardo. Thank you for your kind comments and patronage of the channel. Thank you. CT, can I use the loan to pay off a higher interest rate business credit card? No. Uh, it would help if I could pay off a credit card for, biz credit card for my business. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Will Martin. Um, oh, what I will say to you this is, and I think this will probably be another video, you can uh, use the EIDL money in a, money, in a way that you think is, a, that, in a way that complies with SCA guidelines. But if you don't need the money after a while, you can give it back and you won't have an early payment penalty. One of the reasons why you might be able to pay it back early is because you get a business line of credit and that business line of credit will give you money on for any purpose that you wish to use the business line of credit for, presumably. And, and if that is a, if that is such a case, then maybe you can use the business line of credit money to pay off the EIDL loan. Um, that's a whole other video to itself, which will be coming soon. Will Martin, hey, LA, the tier two reps are not trained to handle the job. Also ask the tier two rep for their ID number. I'll state you want to request the full 10. Okay. 
Uh, you can shout as high as you allows you want, um, but 500 comments a day and everyone is saying the same thing. Where's my $10,000? And they're just not giving it. I think the best people to go to is your members of Congress. Um, they're just they're following a protocol at SBA, and it's unfortunate. It's not fair. Jeep Willie, here's the SBA denial letter. So Jeep Willie finally got his SBA denial letter. Uh, where we evaluate your credit report based upon the information we're not able to prove your application uh, the uh, information come from came from Experian uh, if you want to appeal being right to the loan officer this is all what the denial letter says it's wonderful thank you Jeep Willie um, a lot of we we're sorry for this problem sincerely SBA Wow um, so it's a very long email. Um, it's, it's a whole page of leads. That's the denial. That's what it says. Thank you for sharing with that Jeep Willie. Emmy Evans on April 4th, I received a $1,000 grant ghost funds. I don't know what that means. Uh, on April 28th, I received a generic letter saying they're processing my loan. I checked my spam. Nothing. I've had one credit poll. I'm waiting until this weekend. I'm handing my hands over to SBA. Uh, yes, I would follow up. Um, don't wait around. Viet Tube. Hey, Viet. Thanks for tuning into our live feed this morning. Hey, at 516, called SBA about my EID. I loaned the agents told me my loan is denied, and I asked him about my credit score 404 and said my true score is 610. Uh, said my denial letter would come in a few days. So, Viet Tube, you're one of the few people on this channel who's reported the same occurrence. They reported that the credit score that SBA got was wrong. Um, another person said that the, that the application was denied because the bank account information was provided was wrong, and the person verifies that they did not provide wrong information. The good news is that the, it is based upon an Experian credit score. If you have a copy of the Experian credit score and it's clearly not that number, you're going to get that denial like Jeep Willie did, and you can basically contest it and say, here's my credit score. Um, it's a slow process, but I think you might come out in a way that you're happy in the end and get your loan. Um, highway Runner, apply 330, advanced, got in advance around 414, expect calls pulled. I emailed from reconsider uh, April 17th, got a denial letter. Because an error on my application it indicated my cost of goods are sold was less than my EIDL advance, indicating no economic disaster. So he got a denial letter for his loan saying that his cost of goods services was less than his EIDL advance, hence no economic disaster. That's really strange because the calculation is based upon 2019 numbers. You didn't suffer disaster problems in 2019. I emailed them right away for reconsideration. They gave me several reply options. I have six months to do it. Basically, I'm going to appeal. Uh, thank you for the input and, and, and input. Hiring a runner, I think you just got screwed. I mean, if you submitted 2019 numbers, why would there be indication of disaster impact in 2019 numbers? That doesn't make any sense. John Hammerlund. I think you tuned into the live feed today. Thank you. Great info. Applied for the short form on, uh, and then after on the 330 Vortex. Waited and waited and watched your video from my 12. Nice agent. Credit score on loan the 18th. Getting different answers. How much longer should I call before waiting them again? I call them as often as you want to call them. I would just keep on calling them until you get the answer you need. Um, it just depended upon how bad an, a tier two representative is. You get a great one, you don't have to call back again. Amy Cirillo, you're awesome. Well, thank you, Amy. Here's what I don't understand. If the SBA has received three letters from Congress telling them to pay the 10,000 grand, why aren't they doing it? I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, that's, you know, uh, the CARES Act did not say $1,000 per employee. It said $10,000 per business. Moreover, it said in advance before the loan. Now they're not even paying the advance before the loan. What are they doing? And they're changing the protocol every week. I could literally read you what the protocol is changing by the hour. Now, uh, CARES Act allows them to do different things to determine whether to approve a loan or not. But we're talking about the grant. It's horrible. The CARES Act is the law. Absolutely, Amy. So by SBA not doing what Congress is telling them, they're breaking the law. How can they SBA continue to break the law and not be held accountable? I think you just got to call your congressman or your governor. I mean, this is just – it's just – horrific. My husband filed EBI. He received $1,000. $1,000 keep a business afloat. And $1,000 is nothing. But Amy, he should be applying for PUA. If it's his business, he's a PUA. He's a PUA. 
um, he has received the portal invite. Uh, having to shut down, hopefully the portal will come soon. Amy Cerillo, watch our PUA videos. Amy Cerillo, watch our PUA videos. If it's his business, he may be a PUA and he could be getting... He could, he's definitely could be getting seven hundred dollars a week. But if you made, if he made good money over thirty thousand dollars in two thousand nineteen, he could be getting a thousand dollars a week. That's four thousand dollars. That would help you get through these times. Please watch those videos, and 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 keep us updated. Leo Aradendo, uh, Leo again. Do you know anything about being eligible if you had a felony within the last ten years? I'm applying for three thirty and got nothing. Yeah. So there is gossip going, gossip going around that if you had a felony, they're denying it based upon ma bad moral character. There are uh, gossip going around that if you've had a misdemeanor in the last 10 years, they're denied as well. Or simple arrests. Um, we're going to update that on Sunday. It's a lot of gossip. We're trying to see if we can confirm it. Uh, if we can't, we'll, we'll certainly disclose that as well. Vince, apply 330, received $9,000 grant. Great job. Today got a loan offer. Oh, there you go. They're about five to seven weeks behind. Well, at least you got it. Tom Vale, 330, no, 330, so he's a 330 Vortex, 417 credit, 420 grant. Oh, so he got the grant. 516 approved portal documents. Oh, so he got the loan. Wow, that's great. He's a 330 Vortex. He got everything. Good, good job, Tom. Good to hear that. Paul Cox. LLA, thanks for giving us such good info. Thank you, Paul Cox. Yesterday, I got an invite for the portal to complete my application. Wow. Wow. I'm right back at you. I've not received my advance grant. I think I know why. On the verification, I did this. I changed my name. I changed that. I changed the routing. Um, no, Paul. I think what what's going on, Paul Cox, is the following. As we indicated at the top of this video, people are getting the portal loan offers now, but no grant. That grant advance that's supposed to come before the loan is now coming after the loan if the loan is approved. So if you go into the portal loan, I don't know how much it is, but if you go into the portal loan, accept your loan offer, then, and it says accepted, it says accepted, then call SBA, said, where's your grant money? As, as I've been advising people on this channel for over five days, they will then pay you the grant. The bad news is that if you go into the portal and loan and accept the loan offer and it gives you a denial, I think you're not getting the grant. Robert S. Great work, Ellie. Thank you, Robert. Applied short form on 330. No $1,000 grant due to mistake with banking info. Oh, God, again. Finally got my portal invite today. Uh, was in regular box, in the email box, not spam. Good to know. Was offered one up to $150,000. Good. I submitted a request for $48,000. Also, I corrected my banking information. Yes, as we said, when you get the portal invite, you can correct your banking information. As in the And as we indicated in the loan video today, the average loan amount is a lot of money. So don't be surprised. You're going to see a big loan offer. Um, I have alerts on my credit, blah, 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 uh, this and that. Portal says SBA is working Saturdays and Sundays, so I hope to hear. From credit was 688 so he had a 688 and got $150,000. Great sharing that with us. Most sources say the, source, the score they are using, not FICO. Right. They are using Experian. As Jeep Willie's denial letter says, we denied you per Experian. Here's Experian's address in Texas if you want to write them. Uh, we'll update you when I hear something. I know some are reporting immediate approval after accepting the loan and confirming identity. Mine was not one of the above. Right, Robert. Early in the week, we we're reporting that people that got the loan offer accepted and within 24 hours, accepted and signed the uh, docu signed document within 24 hours, their bank was funded. Late in the week, that fell apart. Uh, middle of the week, we heard that people had uh, larger loan offers, over $50,000, had to submit more documents, and it was not approved. Also, later in the week, we heard that entire automation of the process that was allowing people to get funded within 24 hours is no longer working. It's just we're hearing things changing by the hour. Joe Jack applied 330, credit pulled 413, $1,000 grant good, then called 57, received email, my entire credit port, which is now current. I thought, what is this for? You know, a disaster. P.S. That payment is now current. Thank you. Thanks to PUA, but I did not type in my FICO down 50 points to a 600. Um, okay, so you got a denial by phone, but then you received an email with a P. Oh, you received the denial 417. Okay, so what I would recommend to you is if you want to uh, challenge the denial, challenge the denial. I think this may turn up into turn out to be an entire video unto itself in the next day. How to challenge an EIDL denial loan letter. Um, 
and you still have time. So I think we may turn this into a video. Miguel, I got approved for $112,000 with a 596 credit score. Wow. Great job, Miguel. Amy's, is there anything as a tier three representative? Don't know. Really don't know. Uh, Wesley Oberman, I got my denial letter this, this morning. Only reason they gave me is credit history. I have a 680 and my business part is over 700. I don't understand. Wesley, I don't understand because we just had Miguel and he had a 596 and got $112,000. My stuff got a denial letter at 2 a.m. Douglas, uh, I'm a painter. Received the grant in April. I got a, a denial letter saying denial. It says I don't qualify due to Experian. Lack of my credit. Have a nice day. What should I do next? You can challenge it. I, I think we're going to have to make a video about how to challenge an EIDL loan. I mean, that's that's basically where, where we're heading for next week. Norma, bombshell. Uh, if you're behind more than 60 days in, on child support, auto denial. Um, yeah, th th that that's actually in the form. Child support is a grounds for immediate denial. Kriston, uh, thumbs up. Well, thank you, Kriston. Will, ask here too to note that you're requesting the full $10,000 grant. Uh, yeah, you can tell them that, but <laughs> they ain't going to give it to you. What you can do is if you get the loan offer but no grant and you accept it and you still don't see the grant, you call SBA as we've been telling people all this week to ask for your grant and you will get it. People who have been watching this channel and following our advice are getting the grant after they get the loan. Uh, don't know why they aren't giving people their loan, their grants anymore. But there we go, our 20 minute running time. So this is Saturday. If you have questions or comments to today's recording for Saturday, drop them below by Sunday, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and we'll try to answer them in Sunday's recording on EIDL Grant. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, like and subscribe, and stay with LLA for more.